my love of Ferrari really uh, was one that came from spectating. As a kid, watching races, uh, reading car magazines about this very, very special car really stoked my interest in it. And fast forward 30 years and here I am, you know, lucky enough to be able to enjoy both the, uh, the modern cars as well as some of the older ones. So much of the enthusiasm and love for the brand comes from achievement. I mean, these guys were winning races from the get-go, the singular vision of Enzo Ferrari. I mean, look at what they've accomplished in Le Mans. Look at what they've accomplished in Formula One. I don't know that there was ever any grand plan to make, uh, you know, the, the, the three-liter V12 sort of the benchmark of Ferrari, but if you look at the history of, of, of the company, so much was achieved with that three-liter Colombo engine. I mean, really, it was a fabulous engine. I love driving it. There's a DNA that you can tell from the earliest 250s through to, to the last. There's just, a, it's just, you know, there, it's very difficult to define, but there's something absolutely sublime about driving the car. It's really hard to put my finger on it, but if you think about it, here's a company that's been around for 70 years as a brand, and how many brands do you know that survive that long without ups and downs? And so certainly, uh, you know, you can't ascribe it to clever marketing. You can't ascribe it uh, to just styling. Unlike so many other companies, there is a, a, a singularity of vision. There's a focus. It may not be one individual anymore, but there are passionate, uh, enthusiasts in the company to understand what the brand ought to be and that vision from the earliest days that I was observing has not really changed. It's become infinitely more complicated but that singularity of focus has always been there. Over 70 years Ferrari's DNA embraces achievement and beauty.